What's up guys, it's Argon657 here, and today I bring you another Pokemon Sun Moon Wi-Fi battle against Shofu. You guys probably know who Shofu is, he's been doing uh, Pokemon battles since Generation 4, so... Um, yeah, he's been doing, like, uh, battle since Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, this was an OU battle, and as you guys can tell, this part of the battle is sped up because it was very stally. Uh, basically what happens is that um, he leads off with Ferrothorn, I lead off with top of Coco, I go for the Bolt Twitch, go to my crossover, he tests up his rocks, I set up my own rocks, he goes for the Leech Seed, and um, yeah, I go to my Scizor, he goes for the Leech Seed again, predicting me to switch out, and I go for the knockoff, predicting him to switch out into his um, Pelipper. And I go to my Rotom, expecting him to defog. I bolt switch out into my um, uh, Crustle again, expecting him to go to his Ferret Thorn. He sets up the rocks, and then I set up the rocks. And pretty much what happens is that the uh, pretty much the cycle just continues for like maybe uh, 20 turns or so, maybe 15, 20 turns. So yeah, it was kind of stally. So I sped this thing up so you guys don't really have to watch it. Um, for that long so yeah but the thing is I'm trying to whittle down his um Ferrothorn I missed the willow unfortunately though so that kind of sucks but I'm switching out in case he wants to go to his Volcarona but I'm gonna go to my Crustle and he goes with the power whip and all that so um yeah so this is like pretty much the same cycle we both set up rocks and everything and then he goes for Leech Seed and all that it's kind of a PP stall situation though um yeah, so I go to my Scizor, and I'm gonna have to Roost over here. He knows that, so he's gonna switch out into his Pelipper. I go for the Roost. Um, yeah, so he's probably gonna uh, go for a Roost over here. Um, but yeah, um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the Willow off on the Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn is kind of annoying, but if I manage to burn it, it'd be great. So, that's what I'm trying to do. I just want to burn the uh, Ferrothorn, to be honest. Because Ferrothorn is a big threat against my team. I don't really have much to handle the Ferrothorn. Um, over here, he goes to Pelipper, and I go for the Swords Dance. This is kind of one minor change over here, but I figured he would probably want to go for the Aggressive Skull. So, I go to my Rotom to sponge that. So... Yeah, so everything is just looping around repeatedly and all that. I missed the Willow again, though, but I'm just going to go for it again just for the heck of it. Like, I'm like, screw it, just go for the Willow, hopefully it hits. I do hit it, though, so that's good. Um, yeah, he's pretty much leech seeding almost half of my team already. He leech seeded my Crustle, my Sizzle, and his Rotom. So, alright, so I'm going to go for the Bolt Switch over here. I'm gonna go my Scizor just to boost up all the damage, all that. He predicts that, he goes for the Leech Seed and all that. Um, yeah, so... As you guys can tell, I'm not really narrating this part of the battle that much, so... Um, yeah, I do have to go for the Roost. Um, yeah, so this Pelipper is kind of annoying, I just want to get rid of it. However, his Kingdra can actually uh, sweep my entire team, though. If my Greninja and my Rotom are weakened, especially. So, he's going to defog all that. And then, um, I think I go for the Paint Split over here, too. I'm going to go for the Paint Split. Just get some health back. Um, I do weaken the Ferrothorn just a bit, though. But now, here is where everything gets slowed down. Because everything's going to change over here. It's about time something's going to change. I'm going to go to my Crustle. He's going to go for the Stealth Rocks. But instead of going to his, um, uh, Pelipper, or going for the Leech Seed, um, I am going to go for the Stealth Rocks as well, but he's also going to go to his Kingdra over here, um, expecting, um, Stealth Rocks. Um, I had to go for the Stealth Rocks because I wanted to make sure our entry hazards are even, so... And also to force that Pelipper to defog away the hazards. Well, I get a free turn of uh, setting up on him. Um, but I did go for the Stealth Rocks. And um, I don't really have anything to take a Surf from this Kanga or Hydro Pump. 
The rain does stop though, but it really doesn't matter. I don't. I still don't have anything to take a hit from this thing. So I'm just gonna stay in, just leave this across all these death water, pretty much. Um, yeah. So um, he's gonna take me out. Not a big deal, but because the rain is out, I'm gonna be able to go to my Tapu Lele, which outspeeds the Kingdra. And, um, I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast. What I should have done over here was gone for the Psychic, because, seeing his team, I could pretty much hit everything on his team hard with the Psychic. Even that Ferret Thorn, especially because it's weakened. Uh, because Psychic hits everything, uh, pretty much hits hard in the Psychic terrain. So, um, I go for the Moon Blast just because it's super effective and everything, but... He's gonna get his Ferrothorn over here, and I do go for the Moon Blast. And I, I was thinking I probably should have went for the Psychic instead, because Psychic would have done a lot more damage. Would have done a little bit more. Um, I mean, it probably would have been a two hit KO, too. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go for another Moon Blast again, just because uh, I need to weaken this Ferrothorn. I also need to take out this Ferrothorn, actually. Um, because this Ferrothorn is very annoying right now, so, uh, he does go for the Leech Seed, which is fine, um, because I'm going to switch out anyway after I take out this Ferrothorn. So, I could save this thing for Death Water later on, because I kind of realize, um, a lot of his, uh, team members outspeed my top of lately, so I'm not even sure if it was worth, um, except for King Dread, though, I'm not even sure if it was worth sacking my, um, Lele or not. But, um, what I could have done with here was that after I took out his Ferrothorn, right, um, he goes into his Tapu Koko, and, um, the thing is, I didn't realize, like, a lot of his Pokemon outspeed my Tapu Lele, so there's really no point in keeping Tapu Lele alive at this point. I should have, uh, sacked off my Tapu Lele instead of my Scizor, but then again, my Scizor doesn't hit anything on his team hard either because he has a lot of water type Pokemon and Volcarona which uh, does resist as well as Landris which uh, can get him for the Intimidate so it really does not matter because um, Scizor gets outsped very easily so I decided to leave Scizor as Death Water for that reason so he does hit the Thunder though it kind of makes sense for him having Thunder being that he has a rain team so uh, I'm gonna go to my own Tapu Koko, and, um, he doesn't know yet that I'm Choice Scarfed, so, I haven't revealed that I'm Choice Scarfed yet, but he doesn't know that, um, he doesn't know that yet, so, I'm gonna go for the Dazzle Gleam, and he's gonna go for the Volt Switch, um, he's probably gonna go to his Pelipper over here to set up the rain again, but I know that if he predicts, um, if he predicts me to, like, go for an electric type move, he probably thinks that I'm not Scarfed yet. Hey. But, um, if I take out his Landorus, um, if he knows that I'm Choice, um, he can easily go to his Volcarona and use my Tapu Koko as a side of fodder instead of Quiver Dances and then sweep my team. So I didn't want to do that. Instead, I wanted to go to my Rotom and double switch, expecting the Landorus switching. So, um... Yeah, so I know he's not going to want to stay in over here, so, um, but I do go for the safe Hydro Palm just in case, uh, he predicts me to overpredict. so I didn't want that to happen, I just want to go for that Hydro Pump, um, just to hit something, uh, if he goes to Kingdred, that's fine with me, um, but, uh, yeah, he's going to go to his Kingdra, like I expected, so, um, I do go for the Hydro Pump. And actually, Hydro Pump in the rain, it's going to do a decent amount to King Drip, despite being four times uh, resistant. So yeah, it does a nice chunk, though. So, um, what it could have done was gone for the Paint Split, but I decided to go for the Volt Switch instead. Uh, he's going to go for the Hydro Pump, and he actually connects, so uh, that's pretty good on his part. So, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch over here. And, um, I'm gonna do a decent amount to, um, Kingdra. And I'm gonna go to my Tapu Koko. And because I knocked off his, uh, Damp Rock from his Pelipper, I know that next turn, uh, the rain's gonna run out. So I'm gonna switch back into my Rotom as Death Fodder, um, just to waste a turn of rain. So, uh, 
that's exactly what I do. So I throw my Roto. Rotom does die to entry hazards. So, yeah, he's probably going to go for another Hydro Pump again, which is fine. The rain does stop, so I'm going to go to my Tapu Lele over here. And I'm going to be able to pretty much outspeed him because I am a timid nature. So, um, the reason why I went, I switched out, because I wasn't sure, I am Scarf still, but I wasn't sure if this Kinder was a plus speed nature. Um, I do later find out that he's a modest nature though. Um, yeah, so, um, but at the time I thought he was like a timid nature choice specs. Because most sweepers kind of run plus speed natures just to get the speed and all that. In fact, I run a Kingdra that has a timid nature with choice specs. So, it kind of makes sense just to make sure I outspeed for sure. Even choice scuff. So, uh, he's now going to go back into his Kingdra. And, um, yeah, there's nothing I could take a spec to surf or Hydro Pump. So, um, I'm just going to stay in, be Duck Fodder, because uh, the rest of his team um, outspeeds my top of Lele. So, there's no sense in keeping top of Lele alive at this point. So, I'm going to go to my Greninja, hoping I could take a surf and take him out with the Dark Pulse. Um, I'm also hoping I live enough to a point where I can live one more Stealth Rock damage. Because if that's the case, then I win the battle. So, he goes for the uh, Surf. Now, Stealth Rocks did 35 HP damage. It brings me down to 34. So, unfortunately, uh, I won't be able to live the Stealth Rock damage. So, I have to stay in. So, that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, I do take out the Kingdred though. But he's going to be able to go to his Landris. Which I'm assuming it's Scarped. So, he's going to outspeed my Greninja. Um, if I lived with 36 HP, I would have switched out over here and saved it for later because I just realized uh, I would have actually won the battle. Um, yeah, so I would have actually won the battle uh, with uh, Greninja. But unfortunately, he's going to outspeed me, take me out with the Earthquake, and I had to stay in because Stealth Lux would have taken me out. Um, but I'm now going to reveal my Choice Scarfed uh, Tapu Koko. And over here is when I revealed that I'm Choice Scarf because I outspeed the Landorus because his Landorus is also Scarf. So um, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice over here. And uh, unfortunately, he is going to go to his Volcarona. And he is going to take the Hidden Power Ice. And he is going to um, take me out with the Fiery Dance over here. So yeah. Um, yeah, so he's going to go to his Volcarona over here. And. Uh, get stealth wreck damage, but he's gonna be able to take the hidden power ice with ease and everything. Like I said, because I'm locked into uh, hidden power ice because I'm choice guard. And it's gonna do nothing to um, Volcarona, and he's gonna finish me off with the fire again. So, yeah, there was a good battle. It ended up being a 2 0 victory for Shofu. So, yeah, that was a pretty close battle, though, and it was a pretty good battle as well. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really glad I was able to have an opportunity to battle Shofu, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, just make sure to leave a comment below, click the like button, and subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I will see you guys later.